Welcome back to the Talos Principle. It's just about time to move on to Puzzle Room B. Or actually, no, sorry. Puzzle Room C, rather. That little thing down there. However, in between recording the last episode and recording this one, I was just watching some streams and... Well, I was thinking I really want to make this jump. This jump that I've attempted many times before and have completely failed every single time. So I was just watching streams and I just kept attempting this jump again and again. And I finally got it once. I didn't record it, so unfortunately I can't show you that footage. But I did finally get it and it turns out there's absolutely nothing there. there there's nothing of interest. It's just empty. I do want to show it to you, but I don't want to waste too much time on it, so I'm going to make one attempt. Here's how I did it. I did it by actually landing on this. So I actually landed on that and then jumped off it. So I kind of just like bounced off of it. So I'm going to make one and one attempt and only one attempt at this. Nope. Alright. You'll never get to see it, but trust me, there's nothing up there. And uh, by the way, I also found out something that uh, sped up my attempts is the fact that if you reset, it actually resets to level two. So it turns out all of my attempts at taking the elevator back up from the bottom were completely wasted. And, oh, actually kind of got lucky and actually got this on my very first try again, so all right, we'll make one more attempt. No, didn't quite work, but yeah, there's nothing up there. Now let's get to uh, Puzzle Room C the fun way. Hello, C, I'm coming! Alright, so this place is apparently completely full of red puzzles. So, that should be fun. I believe a computer wants to speak with me? Did I hear a bip, a boopity beep? Was it you? You weren't beeping, so I guess not. Heaven and hell? No, I already, I already got that. I thought when I first, I thought when I opened this up, I heard like faint beeping. Wait a minute, you can take these off. Oh, it goes back. Okay. Well, that's weird. So let's look around for any secrets around here. The last land before I have conquered this world. I assume you're counting the secret islands? The what? I hate you. <laughs> Knowledge tease. I wonder what's down there. I don't know who to trust. I'm afraid to go on. More bad replicas of forgotten worlds. Can't wait. There must be something deeper. Something more profound than what I am. Something greater. I must tear at it, shred this fake world, to find the truth, to find myself. Blah blah blah, took the words right out of my mouth. Said Skid Row. Isn't that the name of like a pirate release group that releases pirated copies of games? We've made it this far. You only need the red ones to climb the tower, and these are the last of them. The reds are a lie. Green is the color of eternal life. Holier than thou, version 47.7.0236. Okay, so last time there was a walkie-talkie up here. I don't see anything up there, though. Nope. Nor do I see a way to actually get up there. Okay. I guess there's nothing there. So yeah, um, I'm actually really excited to see what this place is going to look like. Because Puzzle Room A 
was based on like Pompeii. So it's kind of like Roman looking, and then Puzzle Room B was Egyptian looking. So Puzzle Room C should look like some completely different place. Want to take bets as to what it's going to look like? I'm going to guess... Mm, maybe Aztec. You know, I mean, they've already done deserts, so it's not going to be deserty. They've done snow. This place out here, so they're probably not going to do snow. They've done Roman. You know, Aztec would bring some, some jungle life and stuff like that. Maybe. We'll see. Let's go find out. You have come far, my child, succeeding where so many before you failed. You have walked through a land of ruins and a land of death. Now the land of faith lies before you. And know that as you have shown faith in me, so do I have faith in you. I have no faith in you whatsoever. Ooh, this place is beautiful. It definitely does not look Aztecian, though. Is this, like, gothic? It's beautiful. Amino. One of these must be fake. Hmm. 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 Suspicious. Sapicious. Very sapicious. Thine holy axe? Oh, look at the contouring on it. Look at the grip. Do you know what this means? <laughs> Do you know what this means? It's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. I'm not even going to explore this red puzzle room for, like, years. I have so much to do now with this axe. You have no idea. So much to do. So many activities. I don't even care what's in there. Who cares? There's so much I can do with this axe. Oh. Oh. But, okay, before we do that, let me just check, because I'm really suspicious that these doors are actually solid. I just, I, I need to check all of them. Ah. Oh right, we need to unlock that thing. Make it stop flashing. Fake walls, fake doors somewhere. Fake. Everything's fake. You stand before the gates of eternity. When all your trials have been overcome, the gates will open and you will be granted life everlasting. I don't think I want those gates to open. <laughs> Plays heavenly music. <laughs> what a load of shit. First to ascend. Everyone ascends or gets reset eventually. What's the big deal? Life eternal in the designer's paradise? Hmm. Alright, so yes, the red place does have its own star room. Which also requires ten stars. So yeah, I'm, there's stars missing in the system. Again, I've gotten all of the stars back at... Um, all, at least all the stars I could find marked on signs back at Puzzle Room B. But that only gives me seven stars, so I'm still missing three. Alright, I guess none of these are fake. 
whatever. Let's go do this thing so it stops messing around with me. Um, what the hell is that? I thought it was the like the pillars that you lift up. Okay, so it's not a skateboard and it's not a liftable, upable pillar. Upable. What the hell is that? Is that a reflector? Is it a bouncy pad? I don't know. Damn it, Crow Team, it's broken. Fix the game, man. Patch it. Jesus. Okay, uh, look. I, I just seriously spent like 10 minutes messing around with these shapes and I don't get it. <laughs> this is the hardest shape puzzle I've ever done, ever. So, uh, screw you. You can just keep blinking on the top of my screen. I don't care. I'm gonna go ask, ask some questions. I don't need that thing for a long time anyway. But seriously, what is up with that shape puzzle? Holy crap. I literally spent 10 minutes. Literally 10 minutes messing around with, like, what, six shapes or whatever that was? Jesus. Alright, so yeah, this, uh, this axe is basically the thing that's gonna unlock everything in the entire universe. Because I can just take it with me in the elevator. I've been wondering for, like, for a really long time, ha- Whoa. I think I'm just gonna pick you up, because you just disappeared out of existence for a second. I've been wondering how to knock down those damn boards for, like, the entire game, and then I finally found the axe in the first star room, but then I couldn't take it with me. And then I realized if I could find an axe anywhere in one of these hub rooms, I could take it, I could take it with me up and down the elevators because there's no, you know, there's nothing to stop you taking objects up and down elevators. And I finally have it. So, first thing, let's go get a star, shall we? Do I need to go to floor one? Uh, no, I can just go up here, right? Yeah, okay. So the star requires blue power, so the first thing is to do this. Boom. Now we need a connector, which is not even close to a problem. Let's just go ahead and put this down at the entrance. Let's go up to floor number one. Do 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 do. How is that shape puzzle so hard? After ten minutes, you think I would have gotten it just by trial and error, if nothing else, but damn. To be honest, I'm not really sure how to, like, logically think through these shape puzzles. As far as I can tell, it's mostly trial and error. I, I just kind of plop down a couple pieces. And then after that, then you can, you know, kind of look in areas and see whether it's even possible. Because there's some shapes that you just, you can't possibly fill with the shapes that you have. So it's kind of a process of elimination, but I can't think of any, like, logical way to think it through. For the most part, other than plopping down a couple things and then just kind of eyeballing it. I believe I can get you out of here by going here, no? Where, uh, yeah, here. Do I need one or two? I think I just need one. Let's go! Whee! To victory! And beyond. Uh, no, I need two, don't I? I do. I do. I can't believe I finally found the axe. That is beautiful. I love that thing.
And here we go. Aw, oh, yeah. It's pretty dark and creepy in here. Okay, so... Oh, you know what? I'm missing two stars. Like, I should have ten stars now that I've completely finished B, but I don't. I'm missing two stars, but guess what? Each place that I've been, in A and in B, each of them have one place that's covered by wood. So there's probably one star in the wood room in here, in A, and then one star in the wood room in B. What do you bet? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. discovered the holiest mysteries of my garden may come to serve me as blessed messengers. You walk now in their abode. Be respectful, for their service is born from the love that transcends death, and their love is for you also. This place is serene. I think we're on floating islands, aren't we? Oh my. Yes, we are. We're above the clouds. This is gorgeous. And that music. That water is very strange looking. Hello? What in the hell are you? Oh, it looks like the pieces are provided, it's just a matter of putting them together. Oh god, that's so many pieces. Uh... I'm sure this will go swimmingly. There we go. I'm sure that's exactly what needs to be done. Okay, I just got it. There we go. So yeah, the two L's and that, uh, whatever you call that piece just fits snugly together, and then you got the two boxes, and then the line, and then the rest of these just go like this. Hmm. Some unlocking parts to some puzzle that I don't know exists, but I'm sure it's probably going to be the thing that gets me a star. Or maybe this place is related to the hint system. I'm supposed to find the land of the messengers, right? Before I can use the hint system, and maybe this is it. This place is just gorgeous. You know, this place actually reminds me of Mist. You know, like a... A beautiful, green, vegetation-filled place. Sort of an island, but also filled with some weird-looking machinery that seems out of place. Like these orbs. Red power. 
Hmm. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to do some stuff to get actually over there to that castle. Castle in the sky. This is so cool. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I'm sure that's exactly it. No doubt. Ah, for the love of God, I finally got it. These things are really maddening. I, I didn't use any particular strategy. I'm not sure what to say. I just kept trying stuff until it finally worked. Thank God. Okay, so I have a connector and red power. Uh, I still have two more to go, don't I? Oh, this place is supposed to be beautiful, but it's... Turning, all I can see is red pain and frustration and ooh, a box what do I need this stuff for anyway? alright, so there's a fan to blow me back I mean, the only thing I absolutely need right here is just a fan blade and something to set on this but uh, I'm assuming I need the box and the other stuff probably for over there. Ooh, is this music? If you're looking through the archive, you may find people from my time claiming that civilization doesn't really matter, that we'd be better off dead. We have a lot of cynics like that. I hope they seem as absurd to you as they do to me. I hope you can find something in all those files, a, a song, a book, a movie, maybe a game, just something that you'll love, that makes you realize how much poorer the universe would have been without it. I really hope so, because a lot of people made a lot of sacrifices to preserve it all. Oh, this one seems smaller. I don't think it actually is, though. Let's see if I can get this one quickly. Most likely, I can. But I'll give it a shot. Oh, so close. I have the right shape here. But this one piece needs to go in, but it's just not oriented correctly. Oh. Oh, I finally did it. I hate these. I have to admit, I absolutely hate these. These shape puzzles are completely at odds with the tranquil music. The, the music says, everything is fine. You should be happy. And the puzzles say, fuck you! It's gonna take 15 minutes of randomly messing around with shapes to solve me! Ha ha ha! Alright, um... I have everything but the fan blade. I'm assuming the fan blade is in here behind another one. No. <laughs> Please, no. It is. Okay. I'm sure this one will be easy. Let's see if I can get it within a minute. Let's see. Do we have s symmetry? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by six grid. That's six squared. One, two. Um, no, this thing is definitely not symmetrical. Because there's three of the, these pieces. So that's a bad start. That's never going to work. That's never going to work. These are obviously never going to fit in here. Close. It's pretty close. <gasps> oh my god. That's the fastest I've solved any of these. Okay, and I'm hoping if I reload the game, those don't undo themselves. I don't think... No, there's no way they do. Whee! Cool. Alright, it looks like we need red power. Yes. This place is really cool looking. Before I go inside, let's see what's going on out here. I wonder if anyone's left any messages here for me. Just going for a walk in the garden in the sky. Well, it's not really a garden, but there's a lot of flowers, so it kind of looks like it. No messages. I guess no one else has been here. I'm super, super special. Um, I feel like I can just go over the wall. Hmm. Actually, hold on, it's a little bit lower. There. Hmm. Well, anyway.
What is this? <laughs> it's the other... the other androids. That's Uriel 4. I shall protect the Garden of Worlds in eternity. Barracal X? Don't think I've ever seen that person. My counsel will guide the children of Elohim to glory. With the word of Elohim in our hearts, we are nothing. I shall remember the names of the dead in eternity. <laughs> the name of this one is Surreal. Whoa! I shall bring knowledge and healing to the children of Elohim, dude. This is... Uh, that's a mine. Only through mercy can we reach eternal peace. You're a mine. And you're a bounty thing. I shall carry the message of Elohim to all the worlds of his garden. Oh God. His faithful followers. This one looks relatively easy. It's pretty small. Do I want to join his followers? I don't know if I do. There is an empty place on this mantle for me, I guess. Sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? This should be easy to solve. doing, buddy? Welcome, child. I am one of those who elected to remain in the world as a messenger of the hidden words... Of the hidden words. If you are ever in need, seek us out and cry for help. We will do what we can. Wow, so they chose to do this rather than ascending, just to help out other... other people. That is quite selfless. Thank you, Uriel. So I see question mark one at the bottom of the screen. I guess that means I've unlocked one hint, I suppose. Cool. And, uh... I think that's it for this place. But then wait a minute. Where's my star? Where's my star? I never got a star. No. No, 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 no. This is wrong. This There needs to be more stars. Maybe there's more than ten stars in the red place, but I doubt it. And by the red place, I mean the place that has only red puzzles. Puzzle hub, um, C. No. I don't believe it. There's a star up there or something. I don't know, something funky's going on. Okay, so I can bring the box over here if I don't want to bring red power. So I'm just trying to think, like, if I brought a box over here, could I get somewhere? Interesting. I don't really see anything interesting. I get. I can get over the walls, but what's the point? I've already gotten over the walls. As I'm, I'm in here right now. Is there something inside? No. Hmm. Maybe there is no star here. I guess there isn't. I feel like there might be something up there, but I definitely don't see a star. And I can't think of a way I could possibly get there. What happens if I do this? It 
exactly what I thought would happen. Follow the river. Yeah, I guess there's no star here. I keep thinking it's maybe it's on top of one of these things, but I don't think so. Ooh, <gasps> there's something back there. Secrets. I don't know what that was, but there's secrets. This is not the way to go. No, let's go the other way. I wonder if there's something behind the other ones. <clears throat> Alright, let's get full body awareness here. There we go. I think I found an Easter egg. Infinite monkeys? Can I use it? No. Nope. Infinite monkeys. What is that like? Infinite monkeys on infinite typewriters will make the complete works of William Shakespeare eventually or something? I don't know. So let me go check the other ones and see if there's anything behind them. I guess the other ones aren't, like, butted up against the side, so... Yeah, I've already been behind that one. Hmm. I think that's it. Okay, let's go back. Where did I leave my axe? Didn't I leave it right here? Hmm, I think it may be reset. Yeah, I think my axe reset. That or I just completely forgot where I put it. Okay, well, I need to go use the axe on Puzzle Hub B next. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.